Enes në eni, with another video, now with how to draw ellipses in perspective. The links for my Instagram and its code server of the channel are available in the video description. And I would like to remember that this video is a part of a playlist about introduction to perspective. Have the knowledge to know how to draw an ellipse in perspective is so important to any artist. My goal with this video is to show how we can draw ellipses in any perspective. I will talk about the practical things and the theoretical things when it comes to draw ellipses. We will start looking to any ellipse in our orthographic view. For that, we will use a square as our base. We need to use the techniques to find the center of our square. I already talked about this on the previous videos. With our square divided, we will use the lines that passes through the center of our square. I'm talking about the lines that passes vertically and horizontally has reference points. We need to draw a cycle that fits in in the square, touching the reference points. We already have our cycle inside our square, but if we change the degree of our square, our cycle will become a ellipse because the length of the axis will change. It will start having a minor and a minor axis. To explain, we'll put it into perspective. We'll use one vanishing point to this example. Like previously, we'll start with the square as our base. We need to use the technique to find the center using the lines that passes through the center. I'm talking about the lines that passes vertically and horizontally has a reference point to draw accurately our ellipse in perspective. The next step is to start drawing our ellipse inside our square. You can see on the background video that I made another reference point to have a more accurate ellipse in perspective, showing that if you want more precision, you need to add more reference points. Previously, I told you that when we change the degree of our square, the degree of our ellipse change. In orthographic view, our ellipse was like a cycle, but when we change the degree, we can see that we start to have a minor and a minor axis. The important one is the minor axis, here represented in green. On the other hand, we have the major axis represented in red. The major axis is perpendicular to the minor axis. The minor is the important one because it comes from the vanishing point. We can say that the minor axis is connected to the vanishing point. Nice. Previously, I made a video showing how to multiply and divide dimensions in perspective. We'll use the same logic to multiply ellipses in perspective. I'm using one vanishing point. I started making our basic rectangle and I multiplied it many times. And I started drawing our first ellipse on the first rectangle. And I did the same thing on other rectangles, showing that we can multiply our ellipses in perspective. You can see that the ellipses there are more uh, you can see that the ellipses that are more farther away from the vanishing point have a different degree comparing to the ellipses that are near to the vanishing point. I was talking about the major and the minor axis, and I told you that the minor axis is connected to the vanishing point. We have here three examples of different ellipses to explain this. First, I drew the minor axis coming from the vanishing point and I sketch ellipse in each one. Now we are able to put the ellipse inside a square, so we'll be able to define the minor axis in green and the major axis in red. But the minor axis was the most important because it's already connected to the vanishing point and the major is just a perpendicular axis comparing to the minor one. I hope I clarified the importance of drawing the minor axis. Now we can go to a more practical part of the video. We can use ellipses to make different things. In this example, we'll use ellipse to draw a staircase in a spiral way. First, I placed our square in perspective. I made the divisions, I used the technique to find the center and I made another divisions. The next step was to draw our ellipse inside our square. As a way to have an accurate staircase, I used guidelines uh, represented in red to make the basic levels of a staircase. 
and with that I started to draw each level of the spiral staircase using the normal staircase as a base. Just a quick example to show how we can apply ellipses in different ways. So when you start to feel more comfortable drawing ellipses in different degrees, different perspectives, you can advance to a more difficult level. This is a content that I will talk about on a future video, but we can apply the knowledge of ellipses in perspective. I am talking about drawing cars in perspective or vehicles in perspective. We will use ellipses to draw our wheels. So I made the quick sketch, I started with ellipses, uh, cylinders and rectangles. I used the reference from Marcos Mateus' Frame Perspective book. With the base sketch, I started putting this into perspective. I basically used the previous knowledge from the previous videos, I'm talking about multiplying dimensions in perspective, mirror objects in perspective, to be able to draw this car. I just wanted to show a different way to apply ellipses in our drawings. One of the next videos will be how to draw cars or vehicles in perspective. So we'll talk about more deeply about this. This was the video. I hope you liked. I would like to remember that the links on my Instagram and the Discord server of the channel are available in the video description. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share with friends, and enable the bell so we'll be notified of new updates in the channel. Thank you. I hope I helped. Until the next video. Bye bye.